There she is running. So position. There's two here. Five. You see? Alright. Oh yeah, we're out of fuel. That's fine. But anyways, the choke position has to be way up for the engine to be on. You can see I took the exhaust off. So there's the project. Very quickly. Okay. As you can see, I took this piece off. to expose the carburetor that I must work on. As you can see from previous, I still have this one loose and this loose. So I take the carburetor off, they say mash this one towards the back, which is doable. It moves. And pull hard from this, which is the same over there. Both carburetors are connected using this bar and this bar. So that will be the project. Pictures will go on forums and I will figure out how to get this thing off, cleaned, and on the road. Alright, so as you can see, disconnected the front end by crushing up the back end here. It's just it's still attached to the air box, just jammed up there. If anybody wants to know how it's done, it is you use a big screwdriver. I apply pressure here and here while pulling back on the actual carburetors, plural, there are two. Pulled back on those while doing the pry business here, and sure enough, they came out next line of business is inside here with these guys. Disconnect those and this guy's coming out. Also, I've already disconnected the drainer hoses down here with the little clips. That was easy. Alright, moving on. Here we go. So what we have here is we went ahead and removed all the cables uh -huh. attached to the carb. The two throttle cables, the return and the Push and pull. The push and pull were removed in that order. Um, the choke was taken off using this mechanism here. It's still attached to the carb currently. We'll take that off as soon as we can see it. And uh, as you can see, we're clear of everything. Just a little bit of manual labor. No damage to the seals or the rubber gaskets. Now moving on to the final step.